Welcome to One on One. I'm Steve Vada. About everything you ever wanted or needed to know about networking, you're about to find out from this man right here, Jack Killian, co-founder of Bluestone and Killian. How you doing? We're we're doing fine. What is the deal with networking, and why is it that so many people, first of all, don't even know what it is. Second of all, when they think about it, they go, Oh, you mean I got to go to a cocktail party where I have to make small talk that I don't want to make with someone who I don't want to interact with, and that's not what we're talking about. Totally, and they also think it's, uh, often they think it's about selling, and it's not, not that at all. And by the way, your firm, put it in context, you do a lot of this coaching and training for people. We coach professionals in accounting firms, law firms, financial services firms, corporate executives, leaders of nonprofits, and then on a contributing back to the community basis, we teach kids to do it. You say it's harnessing the power of networking. Of networking. That's correct. Describe it. I think networking is uh, equally important as the skill of reading, writing, and arithmetic. I think it should be taught in every school in the country. And I think it's one of the ways that people can really enhance their lives, their family lives, accelerate their careers, and drive the profitable growth of the companies that they're with. What does it look like? Looks like spending uh, consistent time every day meeting with people, looking for ways to contribute to that person's success, following up with people. And at my point in my life, with all the experiences I've had and all the contacts I have, I like to think that no matter who I meet, I can make a contribution to their life. You know, it's so interesting. When, when people uh, talk about networking, one of the things, Jack, they get confused by is they say, okay, so I meet someone, and I have to get, have to get a conversation going, and I run out of things to talk about. And you say, that's ridiculous, because you're not supposed to be talking about you. You're supposed to be talking about them. You're supposed to be asking questions. You know, why are you here? What, what's your role with the company? Uh, a couple of months ago, I was fortunate enough to get invited to an event at the White House. And I'm standing outside at 7 o'clock in the morning waiting to go through security. I'm standing next to this really cool-looking, well-dressed gentleman with a cup of Starbucks, which uh, I said to him, well, why are you here? What are you doing? He said, our company contributes to the community, and uh, we're into philanthropy. I said, what company are you with? He said, uh, Ritz-Carlton. I said, oh, that's great. One of my good friends owns half of a floor in your Ritz-Carlton in New York City. What do you do at the Ritz-Carlton? He says, I started it. <laughs> and I said, oh, give, that me, guy. give me five, because I never started the Ritz-Carlton. <laughs> that is great. So you know, my wife has a nonprofit, so I got back to the fellow from the Ritz-Carlton. And uh, I said, you know, how do I put Judy in touch with your philanthropy people so they can be working on programs for inner city kids together? You know, it's so interesting. Networking is, it's not an activity. It's not a thing you do at a certain time and you check off. And, and again, I don't, I don't want to uh, be a snob about this. Um, but that, that is the way I live my life. I don't think you can be the host and the executive producer of a series like this without networking. Meaning, right. first of all, you have to raise the money for the series, which means if you're not networking, you're in trouble. Totally. Right? Totally. You can't do what you do if you're not networking. Totally. So it's not a thing you do. No. Is it in your DNA? It wasn't. It wasn't. Well, so that, that means it could be taught. It could, absolutely could be taught. I think it could be taught and could be learned by everybody. Up until I was like 30 years old, I, I had no idea about this stuff. What turned you on to it? I quit my last job and went off on my own. And I either was going to have to make new relationships or I was going to starve to death. So someone's saying right now, oh, that's really great that this guy Jack does that. And no, Adubato's bragging about he right. networks. That's right. fine. But it's not for me. I don't do it. I just want to do my job. And I'm going to count on word of mouth spreading out there that I'm really good at what I do. And you say? You're just cutting yourself short. You're cutting your family short. You're just uh, eliminating major opportunities in your life. You say, OK, here are some, by the way, some of the keys that uh, Jack Killian talks about to harness the power of networking. You ready? Quick follow-up within 24 hours. Totally. If you wait 48 hours, you probably lost half the effectiveness of following up. If you wait longer than that, the person's already forgotten they met with you. you 24 gotta, hours. 24 or sooner. Quick. Or sooner. So I'm often, I often talk to our producers around here, hey, we have to have a sense of urgency. Totally. They think I'm nuts. Totally. Everybody needs a sense of urgency. Because? Because we're in a very competitive global environment. Devil's advocate. Doesn't that look like you're panicky? You know, no, like you're, you're no, I don't think you're pushy? so. Pushy? No, it looks like you're sincerely interested in the other person. You say practice, practice, practice. One of the other keys to networking. Talk to everybody, every place, every day. 
Then you said, obviously, be interested in the other person, focus on giving, not getting. Totally. This isn't about what do I get out of it. This is about how, how can I contribute to Steve's life. And hold on, while you're doing that, how the heck are you helping yourself and your business? I'm building credibility, I'm building a trust with people that I think are in a position at some point to help me. I'm not, you can't keep score doing this stuff. Oh, stay there. You can't keep score. Totally. You can't say, you know, I helped this person twice and he hasn't done anything for me, so forget about him. That's not the way it works. This is a lifelong pursuit of trying to make contributions in other people's lives. Network is a marathon. Totally. Networking is a marathon, not a sprint. Absolutely. Final one, you really blew me away with this key. Likeability. You got people, people got to like you. Yeah, but how do you coach that? You got, you got to get people to be interesting. They got to be likable. They got to be less uptight. So, so hold on. Someone goes to one of these receptions, or someone goes into any situation, right? It seems to me that one of the ways to be more likable, which some, sometimes people think everyone likes them, and they don't really know. I don't have that problem, but go ahead. Well, here's the funny thing. I'm convinced that one of the ways to be more likable is to, in fact, do one of the other things you said. Genuinely be interested in the other person. Absolutely. That's one of the keys. Just keep digging down. Just keep finding out about the other person. By the way, you gave uh, one of your the business card. What was the business card that said uh, evangelist? Who, who was, what was that business That was card? our son when he was like 12 or 13 years old. <laughs> He used to, we used to drop him at golf courses, and he was a good little golfer, young golfer, right. and he would have no way to stay in touch with people. So I said, Jonathan, you got to have business cards. <laughs> I and, love it. And I don't want business cards. No kids have business cards. So I got them business cards, and I call them an evangelist. I don't want to be an evangelist. But Jonathan has turned out to be a really skilled networker. Jack Killian, <laughs> co-founder of Bluestone and uh, Killian. He believes in uh, harnessing the power of networking. We believe in you coming on sharing that message. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. It's great. Appreciate it. Okay, me too. We'll follow up within 24 hours. Good. <laughs> so stay with us one on one. We'll be right back right after this. I enjoyed that. One on one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association working for great public schools for every child. Wells Fargo, the Adler Aphasia Center, PSENG, committed to improving New Jersey's economy and strengthening its communities. New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Group, auto insurance, homeowners insurance, and banking under the principle of stewardship. The law firm of Gibbons PC. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, making healthcare work, and by Bloomfield College, offering small classes and big opportunities since 1868. Promotional support provided by The Star Ledger and NJ.com, Everything Jersey, and by NJ Biz, All Business, All New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.